Hello there, huge movie fanatics here. This is my little cheat sheet because uh, we are doing a rundown of the uh, best and worst so far of 2013. The year is halfway over, a little more than halfway over now. This is our third annual best and worst of the year so far. Yes, indeed it is. And so, I'm going to kick this one off. Uh, let's do uh, my top five movies in reverse order. So number five goes to Oz the Great and Powerful. I did a solo review for that one. Check it out. I highly recommend that movie. It's uh, one of the better um, prequels I've ever seen, uh, which I guess doesn't say a whole lot. But, you know, <laughs> there you have it. Um, Star Trek II, uh, or Star Trek Into Darkness is my number four. Uh, this is one, the more I think about it, the more I dislike it, but I liked it so much at the time that I, I'm, I'm keeping it on the list until I have a second chance to view it, but typically my, my opinions don't change very much, so uh, maybe I'm just thinking of it poorly because I was disappointed, as most people were. Um, <laughs> my number three was sort of a surprise to me. It's a movie called The Bling Ring by Sofia Coppola. Um, whom I really like. She did Lost in Translation a few years ago, if you ever saw that, which I, I really quite like. Um, this is a movie about uh, five Hollywood starlets um, who, like, lived in Hollywood and whatnot. They didn't, they weren't actresses. One of them was trying to be. Uh, and they hung out at, like, parties and stuff a lot, uh, where all these, like, Hollywood stars hung out, and they just decided that they were going to go into celebrities' houses and break in. And just hang out and steal stuff from celebrities. And <laughs> well, this is a true story. Oh. And they even used Paris Hilton's house in the movie because she was the one that was attacked most often. Paris Hilton is briefly in the movie. <laughs> which, I mean... She executive produced it. She comes off so bad in the movie, though. Well, I imagine. Like, I mean... So it's like, the poor girl, either she didn't know or she's re got a really good sense of humor. But um, she comes well, off so... I, I think it was probably the first. <laughs> yeah, probably. But, um, uh, so, like, they steal, they steal stuff from Paris Hilton, Orlando Bloom, uh, Rachel Bilson, uh, just uh, Hayden Christensen, I think, uh, like, all, all these, like, Hollywood people, they just, uh, uh, Lindsay Lohan, and, uh, they did this for, like, a good chunk of time before they were finally caught, and, um, the movie is really sort of fascinating, and it's, like, a deconstruction of the culture of... Win, sorry deconstruction of culture of like that lifestyle there uh, in Hollywood and like teen life just sort of in general and how vapid and stupid uh, these people really are and the dialogue while well, being really vapid and stupid is brilliant because it perfectly mimes it and mimics it and it has some of the laugh out loud funniest stuff that like some audiences would see and wouldn't think it's funny but like you knowing that it's a critique on this kind of culture it's just it's really fantastic highly recommend the bling ring that's my number three Number two is The Croods. This is the animated film about the cavemen. It looked like horseshit, but it, it actually, it was really surprisingly <laughs> funny. It was, I, it was the most laugh out loud, loud movie I've seen all year and for the past couple of years, in all honesty. Uh, I really, really enjoyed that one. Um, and then uh, my number one is Pixar's Monsters University. Um, is it as good as Monsters, Inc.? Hell no. Oh my god, it is a far, shot, uh, far cry from the quality of that. But still, at the end of the day, it's it's quite good. Uh, it was funny. It doesn't have the the um, emotion that Pixar is typically ha has, but it's very funny, very entertaining, and it's essentially a remake, oddly enough, of Revenge of the Nerds, uh, which it's Pixar's take on Revenge of the Nerds, so it's better than Revenge of the Nerds was. Uh, but you know what? It's it's quite fun and entertaining. And then my uh, my list for the worst. I'm just going to give you this. Uh, this was. A, a direct-to-video movie, oh. uh, so you know the quality from which I speak, and it was called uh, 30 Nights of Paranormal Activity with the Devil Inside the Girl and Drake a Tattoo. Kind of funny title, that's as far as the humor goes. It's actually worse than Scary Movie 5. I have not seen Scary Movie 5, my fiance did, and that was her worst movie until she saw this one, and then she's like, wow, this was actually worse than Scary Movie 5. And, uh, yeah, so, pretty terrible. There's another movie that is on my worst of list that hit the theaters. I was just going to ask. But I'm going to save that because perhaps we will review it oh. today. Uh, so, you, you have something to look forward to. Okay. okay. Uh, if you can hear us, you do. Yeah. Is it my turn? This is yep. going to be really quick. I basically, if you've watched the reviews we've done today, I've already said it. Uh, Oblivion, 
uh, is the best for me of the year. I saw it a second time, which kind of knocks off my uh, three stars to maybe three and a half, well, not maybe, about, about three and a half. I thought the second time was even better. And obviously my worst is World War Z, which is the first uh, non-found footage movie I've ever given zero stars here on Huge Movie Fanatics. So to keep it short, I guess that's all I have to say. There you have it. Hopefully, <laughs> I hope and pray There's no hope. that there is something better with the movies coming out the rest of the summer, uh, or it, like for the rest of the year for that matter. Um, I really, really hope that there's, there's something. Uh, because, like, I mean, as much as I liked Monsters University and, and Blame Ring and, and The Croods and whatnot, these aren't, like, masterpieces. These aren't, like, movies that I will take with me to my grave, whereas, like, almost every year for the past couple of years, there's been, like, a movie that has just stuck with me that I, like, I cling to. Um, the, like, the last time there was a, a summer, or, or, like, a year this bad, I would say it was 2009, uh, where it was just kind of like, ugh lame. There was like two great movies that year and both of them stuck with me, but everything else that year kind of just sucked. So, yeah, that's my... And then before that it was 2006. So. What about before that? I don't know. Alright. Are you done? Yep. Thanks for watching. That was our third annual best and worst of the year so far about halfway through. Thanks for watching.